to those of you that just were able to join in here. Can you hear me? Yes. Wonderful. Good evening for those of you. I am just waiting to see others who are joining. Apparently the way this is set up is I need to allow people to join and that's not how I actually set this up. So I'm just going to give it one minute, please. Can everybody see the screen that I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, wonderful. You should see the syllabus screen. Okay. <clears throat> And um, we now have five individuals that were able to join. So just give me um, uh, Professor, I couldn't uh, join the other uh, uh, meeting. I don't know why yeah. I tried to do it. And it says that um, I, I wasn't available or something like that. Okay, but but you're here because I see you, that which okay. is great. Um, I'm happy that you were able to do so. So I see five participants. Um, just kindly, everyone, if you can just give it, you know, just a minute or two, because I did receive a lot of emails. Okay, Sarah's waiting. I've got to admit her. Um, okay. So as I see that people are, are asking to be admitted to join in, I'm going to be adding them in. But kindly be patient. I just like to give it at least just two minutes so that others can be joining in. There was some difficulty. It, it was on and then it, you know, I think like you, Alejandra, it probably just shut off, right? Because the same thing happened to me too. And um, I don't control that this Zoom connect through the college. So let's just wait and see. Um, I hope everyone is feeling okay. I know for some of you, you might have had a long day. It's already, you know, 630. And some of you may have already been at work or uh, half of the day at school or school and work. And I'm going to try to keep this flowing so that uh, it is not too long, you know, for all of you. Uh, and those of you that have joined, um, thank you very much for making the effort to do so. This is our CDE2 class orientation, okay? So um, it's now, you know, 638. And what I want you to know is that I do record all of our meetings. So I want to make sure that um, we are still recording, okay? So I'm going to just say stop recording for a minute. And then I want to confirm that um, we are recording. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm recording. All right. So for all of you that have joined, welcome. This is. Um, are you sure you want to stop recording to the cloud cancel? Okay. So all of our meetings are recorded and in your particular class shell, there is a module where you have an opportunity to actually see 100% um, anything that we actually have a meeting related to class. Zoom meeting, a discussion board meeting, or like a room to room interconnect meeting. So welcome, I'm Several Rose Steel Hope. I'm very happy to let you know that I have the opportunity to be your professor for child growth and development for CDE2. Now, um, some of you, I just need to kind of like maybe put an emoji or perhaps, you know, a show of hands. How many of you, this is an actual first time online class for you? You can either type in the chat and say, you know, or raise your hand or put a smiley face. You know, I just want to know later because if after our, re our meeting tonight, you find that you might need to talk to me or we need to have a small group meeting to help you to kind of navigate and understand what it, you need to do for the online class, I am more than happy to do that. Okay, so I'm going to take this down and as you see, I'm going to keep going back and forth here for just a minute because as people enter in, I'm going to let them in. So if you haven't already, 
please make sure that you go to this particular dashboard, that you are in Canvas, and what you're going to see is some key information for this class. So if you haven't done so, this is a very important section for you because it has a lot of information that you're going to need. Again, this is the child growth and development class. It's a fast class. It's your eight weeks fast track. So most classes are 16, 17 weeks. This is only eight weeks. So you've got to stay focused. The key to being successful is look at the dates, look at the assignments, know what you need to do and stay on track. I'm Several Rose Steel Hope. I have the pleasure, the opportunity to serve as your professor for this particular class. Now, there are a lot of ways that we can stay connected. Even though this is an online class, 100%, that means we do not meet ever face to face. However, we will have a lot of ways of communicating with each other. First of all, always check announcements here, okay? When you go to announcements, you should have already received the very first announcement about this particular Zoom meeting, okay? And you also have an announcement about your book that it's very important that every week look an announcement and you should get some kind of a notice because every Wednesday I'll be sending you a reminder or some kind of update and then automatically on Saturdays you're going to get an announcement to remind you that your assignments for that particular week is going to be due by Sunday midnight. Okay, so going back to the syllabus section, in this particular section, if you want to get an electronic or a viewable syllabus, okay, there are several ways. This is a download printable version. You just click here, or you can have an online syllabus, and then I'm going to show you the flip book, okay? So, this is the syllabus which tells you information that you need to know. First of all, uh, I'm not going to go through the entire syllabus. I am going to give you some key highlights, but I want you to know that information in here is going to be helpful to you. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you know that there are certain objectives in this particular class. Now, what does that mean? It means that there's going to be information that you need to know by the time you walk out of this class. This is a class, we go back here, right? It's going to be a class where we look at human development. We're going to look at children starting from the cellular state where we're going to see us grow to be an adult from a zygote, a single cell. But we're going to take a look at human development in all aspects, physical, psychosocial, cognitive, language. And we're gonna look at what is considered typical development, like what is considered the norm, and what is atypical development. And we're gonna trace development from conception, from the moment that you become a single cell, all the way through adolescence. But we're going to also think about how does interaction within our environment change us? We're gonna be studying the how and why people change through time or why they remain the same. Looking at things like how does society affect us? How does our social economic status? How does the political environment? How does genetics? And we're also going to take a look at theories, some grand theories, theories that have, you know, stayed through time as to why is it a child does what he or she might do? Why does that child automatically hit, scream, yell? And yet the brother 
is very calm, very easygoing, very, um, you know, has a lot of self-emotional regulation. So we're going to look at theories of human development, and you're going to have an opportunity to really take a look at 100% what is it that makes us who we are today. And you'll be doing um, an activity that's called Developing Lives, where you get to create your own emoji, your avatar. You're going to create a child in a digital format based on information that we have read, information that we talked about, okay? So in the syllabus here, you're going to be looking at, of course, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? So there's a lot of information in here about the class. Now, one of the things that I want you to remember in this particular class is what are some of the objectives? You're learning about theories of child development. You're going to be talking about the framework of human development. We're gonna understand what are some major milestones. And you're going to be also looking at the role of the family in regards to children's development. And we're going to analyze how the context of influence changes us, okay? So when you look at this, now you might understand, gosh, how come this instructor gave me these assignments? Well, some of these assignments are tied to student learning objectives, student learning outcomes. And one of the things that you will know is that we have an agreement so there's certain things that you can expect from me as well as your professor in that number one you're going to get support you will get on time regular feedback and if you need some guidance and assistance i will give that to you as appropriate we're going to respect each other's values there are some activities, some assignments, some questions. There's no right or wrong. We come from many different backgrounds. We have different experience, different opinions. But my role is to participate in helping you to have academic freedom, to be able to have your uh, you know, experience validated. I am here to show that I don't just speak about respect and encompassing diversity, but that we are going to mutually agree that we can have discussions and also agree that we can disagree. And remember, we come from different places. We come from different experience. So I want to inspire knowledge. I want to help you set goals. I also want you to develop some critical thinking. And I'm going to have some expectations. So whatever assignments you have, there is going to be a rubric. There is going to be an explanation of what you need to do in order to gain the points that are assigned to each assignment, okay? Assignments require academic honesty. Please, if you quote somebody, if you take information from a book or maybe from a publication, give credit where credit is due. You do not want to engage in plagiarism. And one of the things that we will not tolerate is, of course, pleasurism, cheating. Now, this is an online class. We don't meet face to face. You have a chance to go on the internet, research your information. You can use your ebook. You can use each other. So do your work and do your work to the best that you can. And also, we have some what we call netiquette. This is like ground rules for how we are going to be mutually respectful. And not only that, but we are also going to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to speak. We have to be careful of the language that we use and how we respond because you will be doing discussion boards as part of your assignments. Within your syllabus, there's a lot of resources. Please remember, if you need um, you know, support disabled student program services, 
uh, let them know and they will also send me notification if you need some form of accommodation that has not already been factored. Some of you sometimes will say, well, according to accommodations, I need extra time. Remember, you're already given a whole entire week to complete your assignment. Some of the chapter tests in Canvas that you have each week have you know, a lengthy amount of time for you to do that particular quiz. And it also allows you to return. And if you think that you can do better, you can take that same quiz over again, but during that week duration time. So the rest of um, the syllabus here has a lot of resources for you to have academic success. So please feel free to take a look at some of these, okay? And by the way, I am going to be updating this particular um, assignment uh, because some of the modulars, when you click on to the blue links, they will take you directly to that particular section, okay? So I, I just wanted to show you that when you go to each of the weekly assignments, you can click onto these, all right? Um, so this is just, you know, more explanation, okay? All right, so let me go back to this section here. And again, just as you can see, there's a printable version, okay? And I'm going to... Hmm, it, might take a second see where it says scanning up here you just look at this here on the arrow and you can see that there is the printable version right okay so if you just click on to that because some of you might prefer that particular format it might be easier for you um and you can see it is right here this is the correct syllabus okay all right so it's just in a different form um and at your leisure you know you can enable editing and you can also um print it if you wish okay now in this particular section there's more resources if you've never worked with canvas this is an instructional video as to more information, how you navigate in Canvas, going to all of these tabs and what is available to you. And then if you ever needed to contact the division department or dean, you can go to this particular link, okay? You can reach me by this email, but it also connects me to my foundation email. Just um, a really quick, introduction about myself. I have had the opportunity, the honor to serve as a teacher, a professor here at Chafee. This will be my um, eighth year at Chafee, but I also have taught at Valley College for this will 18 years. And I actually started by accident in this particular field when I was 19 years old. Um, I was basically uh, pursuing a degree. I wanted to be a pediatrician and actually a forensic pediatrician. And a lot of my professors went on sabbatical. They went on leave. So there were no classes for me to take. And I ended up taking special ed. And in my country, my father and mother said, well, if you're not going to be going to school, we're going to send you back home to Thailand. So I immediately took as many courses as I could. I took um, human development courses while I had already finished my um, master's. I had finished my master's in special education. And so when I was taking classes at Riverside City College, I guess they saw something unique. Um, I actually applied and I became the curriculum specialist and the assistant to the department chair. At the ripe age of 19, what did I know, right? Well, since 19, I started teaching in um, community college at Riverside City College. And then years after that, I taught at um, other locations. The longest time that I've taught has been UCR. I've taught there for seven years. 
And now I'm currently 62 years old. So you can kind of do the math as to how long I've had an opportunity to engage with students like yourself. Have a lot of respect for you guys. Some of you work, some of you go to school, some of you um, have families, you know, it's a very, uh, it, it's a full life and a lot of balancing. I realize that. But one of the things that I do, as you can see, it says shope at renewhope.org. I'm the founder and also CEO for Renew Hope Foundation. Renew Hope gives me the opportunity to see children and families every day. I get to see children in action. I get to see communities and families. We are funded by the California Department of Education. So we serve right around 1,600 children in Riverside County, in San Diego County, and we have migrant families that we serve. And I have well over just under 300 um, staff, teachers, assistants, paraprofessionals, social workers, uh, mental health providers. Um, all of our services are free. And we also were a partner with Easter Seals Early Head Start, where we serve pregnant moms and dad as a family whose children had suspected developmental delays. So that's me bringing my experience to the table for you. Okay, so we went over the syllabus page. We've looked at announcements. Now what I want you to do is go to modules. As I said to you, in this particular class, it is going to be, if you think of this module as your digital electronic lesson plan week by week. So the very first thing that I want to do here is go over this with you. You notice there are different colored boxes. The blue boxes are information, they're resources, they're things for you to be familiar with. It's does not have a point value, you're not graded, it's not an assignment that you have to do. The green boxes are assignment that is graded and has a due date. So as you can see, these green boxes tell you it's due October 4th, there's one point, October 4th, one point, right? And you'll see more green boxes each week. August 20th, 20 points, okay? So this is week one, module one. Now, this might seem a little intense, but it is because this is an eight week class. It is a fast track. So you're gonna be reading two chapters within a week and completing the assignments that go with them. Now, in these color coding system, red, you know, for me, when I see red, it's alert, alarm, do something, quick, okay? So this indicate and something has to be taken care of as soon as possible. Like for example, in your very first section here, you need to make sure that you get the ebook. Your books are free. This is an electronic book and the ebook requires you to register your book. So when you get that ebook, you go here to student register, okay? And you need to make sure that you register your book. The reason why you're registering the book is because you're gonna be able to access all of these assignments, okay? This is kind of um, the, instructors page, but you, um, if you have already registered, you will get notification. And I'm gonna be looking to see who still has not registered. So if you haven't registered, I'll be sending you an, an email to say, please don't forget to register so that you can get into all of these assignments, okay? All right, so that's the very, very first thing you need to do. The Achieve eBook is an electronic version of the book. 
So you're not going to be buying a hardcover or a paperback, okay? So this particular book, as you can see, um, like for example, Vygotsky Social Theory, right? This is all in Canvas here for you. So when you register, you'll be able to access all of these. And this happens to be a practice concept in the book. So when you click next, you're able to see everything digitally. You don't have to have the hard copy book, okay? And these are parts of that particular chapter, okay? So again, that's in the very, very first module. Now, what I want you to know too is, as I said, this particular meeting and all Zoom meetings that we have, and incidentally, on Wednesday, when we know how many people are remaining in the class, I'm going to post in announcements some dates of future Zoom meetings. Now, our Zoom meeting won't be at 6.30. I'll have them at maybe six o'clock. It'll be a little bit earlier. And you'll have an opportunity to join. The reason is because these meetings will be micro lecture. There'll be um, opportunity for us to talk as a group. And I will be reviewing more in depth assignments that are going to be due and more explanation. So if you didn't join the meeting, you can go to this current and previously recorded Zoom meetings at Chafee College. And when you click on it, I do have some other recordings. Like for example, this was a recording that reviewed chapter six. This was a recording that reviewed chapter eight. So some of these, you know, have instructions on how to complete the autobiography the child observation paper, so on and so on. So they are again, a resource for you. But at the same time, um, that's where you can find the recorded meetings, okay? Um, we got a little um, stuck here. I think we're kind of, okay. Let me go back to uh, some of these tabs. Okay, let me see. Oops, oops, okay. Oh no, screen sharing just stopped. All right, hold on. There's a lot of really slow glitches that's happening in here. Um, I'm not sure if I can go back. No, that's Teams, okay. What I might have to do is I'm going to try to go back. So are there any questions so far right now of what I went over with you about getting your book, how you get into Canvas, and then what are the assignments? So you go into those weekly modules, okay? Um, any anybody not clear as to you know the first thing you have to do is get your book right okay Let me i have see. a question yes yes hi i'm sophia nice to meet hi, you sophia. Um, hi, nice to so the ebook is mandatory right we can't like we yes. need it we can't just have like a pdf we can't buy a copy or whatever um, hard, no right? because because the ebook sophia this particular book that you're buying comes with this Achieve package that okay. gives you all those electronic assignments, okay? Okay. So that's the reason why. Um, and they kind of come together. And it's my understanding that there's no cost right now for textbooks and materials, correct? I think we're okay. still in the no cost. Yes. Uh huh. Any okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. I'm going to see how I can get back to that screen share. Um, oh my gosh, I might have to get out of this and come back to be able to share, you know, the different modules again. Okay. Hello. Yes, yeah, Sarah. I have a question. 
Yeah. Yes. Um, so I was looking at the ebook and it actually was saying that it costs a hundred dollars. Okay, but did did you um doesn't the I thought the college was still participating in the no cost book. Oh, because I followed the link from the module and that's what it led me to once I registered. Okay. Um, why don't you ask the bookstore or let, let me follow up with that. Okay, Sarah. Okay. Because it was my understanding yeah. that there shouldn't be a cost. And then the ebook that you want is the one that comes with the achieve. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I'll post that up. Okay. I, I want to go back to sharing the screen of our, um, Hold on a second. I'm, I'm not sure because when I got out of it, um, I'm, I'm going to see if I can go into Canvas and see if I can go this way. Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Okay, just give me a second because I'm trying to um, get back into our shell. Okay. Okay. Let me see where are we? Okay. Can you, you can hear me, but can you see the screen? I can't see it. You cannot see the screen. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to see how I can get back because I really want you to get back into the modules. Okay. Is anybody, do you have your phone or do you have your um, desktop or laptop? Okay. If you do, um, because I don't know how to toggle this without closing out the Zoom. There's like a disconnect here. Um, okay, so uh, there's an overview. If you just go to module zero, zero, there's an overview of navigating Canvas course. And that is a PowerPoint. And so the PowerPoint shows basically um, Okay, what are the key assignments that you're going to be doing for this particular class? So there are eight weekly module assignments and the modules are by the week. They start on Monday, usually by midnight, and then you have the entire week all the way through Sunday um, midnight. So each of those modules have an, an activity that you need to do. And it starts out with reading the chapter. There is a PowerPoint that I include for you from the author as well as myself. And then you're going to have eight discussion boards. So the discussion boards require that you view a video, read the questions of what you need to answer. And these are going to be your responses. So once you complete those responses, hopefully by Thursday, you will be done with that. So everyone will have a chance to read each other's particular um, response. And then by Sunday, you need to choose two classmates, particularly whose response do you agree with or disagree with and why. When you do both of those by Sunday, you will earn 15 points for the discussion boards. Now there are 16 chapters in this book and you have eight weeks. So all the weekly modules, you'll have two chapters that you're reading and completing assignments for. And one of the very important activities that you're going to be doing is called developing lives, okay? Um, is anybody following along by opening up the module right now? 
And because what I really want to do, I, I, I want to try to toggle this back in. So what I may have to do is literally go out of this and get back into Zoom to see how I can in integrate because under screen share, um, oh, here we go. I'm able to get back in. Okay, so under modules, right? I have this particular navigation of, of the course, PowerPoint. So as I said, this kind of gives you a quick summary of what do I need to do in this class and how am I going to get to the various pieces to complete key assignments. So you have eight weekly modules, which I will go and show you week one's modules, okay? And then you'll have eight discussion boards, as I said. You have 16 chapters that you're gonna be reading. And one of the things that you're gonna be doing that's embedded in this developing person um, achieve exercise and activity is something called developing lives, okay? So developing lives is a interactive continuum of activities. They are paired each of the segments to the specific chapters that you're going to be reading. So I'm going to be opening up developing lives for you starting tonight because the final end product is going to be due at the end of the semester, at the end of this class. But you have to complete everything in a sequential order. So you can't just go into chapter three and jump in and do infants and toddlers. You have to complete first the introduction, then the prenatal phase, then infants and toddlers, early childhood, middle childhood, adolescence, and finally complete. So what's really great is you get to create you. You get to do your own avatar and you can be whatever you wish. And you get to think about creating an individual. So you're going to be thinking about all the information that we read, that we talked about, things like hmm, what kind of teratogens or um, environmental uh, influences like toxins that may affect prenatal development. Do you want to have a typical child or a typically developing child? And what kind of environment, what kind of coupling is it going to be you? Is it going to be you and uh, maybe a female partner? Is it going to be a whole community of people raising this child? Then how is it going to affect later adolescence development. So you'll see when you start developing your answers within each of these segments. This is part of your activity. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments, but there's going to be subsets. And so if you complete all six of these, which are worth 10 points each, you will be earning 160 points. Okay. The other thing that you're going to be doing is the a child observation paper that ties into this developing lives. Now, I know that not everybody has an opportunity to observe a child or work with a child. So what we will do for that child observation is I'm going to give you some videos and you're going to be able to see young children in a preschool classroom interacting with each other, with adults, and then you are going to be writing examples of what you see the child saying, doing, exhibiting a work sample, perhaps in the video. It's a, a couple of video vignettes that are no more than three minutes, two minutes, and then you will be giving examples of the child's biosocial development meaning neurological development, gross motor, fine motor skills. You'll be giving examples of the child's temperament, um, their personality, okay? And you'll be giving example of cognitive development. What does a child appear to know? How well is a child learning? And these are 
examples video, but you'll be choosing, let's say this child will be a focused child to observe. And then that particular paper, in addition, that's the part two of the developing lives is worth 50 points, okay? So the end of the class, your developing live modules in completion, the child observation paper will be completed and developed and hand in through Canvas, okay? That's actually part of the video that you'll be seeing. Okay, and we talked about developing lives. You have an opportunity to also talk about how context of influences, contextual influences can affect us as people, um, our culture, your social economic status, the income of your family, the kind of jobs that your family have, the neighborhood that you live in, um, the political event, and even a historical event. So you're gonna have a discussion board assignment where you're gonna be talking about this with each other as a group and a video to observe. So that's where you're gonna earn points. This isn't actually a written paper, it's being addressed through a discussion board. And lastly, there are opportunities for extra credit in this class. We're going to be talking about theories of human development, personality development, such as the psychoanalytic theory through Sigmund Freud. We're going to be talking about the psychosocial theory, Eric Erickson's stages of psychosocial development, all throughout several chapters, cognitive theory, and behaviorism theory. So one of the extra credit is, who am I? Okay, you get to analyze yourself. There's no right or wrong answer, you know best. But how would Eric Erickson describe these stages of your life experience according to his theory of development? This is not required, but it's an opportunity for extra credit. Okay, and then your final is going to be provided to you in Canvas. You'll have a final study guide. And then the final is going to be posted during final week, and you'll complete your final by October 4th. So in a nutshell, this is what you're going to be expected to do and complete. Now, remember I talked about modules, right? So in this module, this is all a lot of resources. There's going to be example papers of the child observation. There's going to be more examples coming in, okay? And there's the explanation how you do it. There's the videos for completing the child observation. And then there's two bonus videos that if you complete them, you can actually earn extra credit, okay? So this is our first week. This is um, the very beginning of our module. And as I said to you, we have eight modules because this is an eight-week class. And because it is a fast-track class, you're going to be covering two chapters, two sets of activities related to those chapters for each week. And as I shared with you, um, you know, um, if I can move this here, okay, it begins always on Monday and ends on Sunday at midnight. So Saturday, you're going to get a reminder. Now, you can see that every module has blue resources, right? So to help you, there is lecture slides, okay, online PowerPoint that you can download. and. In addition to that, there are also chapter introduction videos. So for some people, it really helps to be able to see the PowerPoint or, you know, kind of, you know, conceptual highlights. And it may take a minute. Um, I find that the, the, the Chafee Network is a little bit slow. And of course, some of the PowerPoints 
um, are, are larger files because they might have a video embedded in it or it may have a lot of graphics, okay? Um, my goodness, this is taking a bit to load, but trust me, there is a lecture slide here, okay? So let me just go back to this one for a minute because um, I don't want it to get caught in a loop. But as you see, there is a, a, a lecture slide, okay? Remember what I said, the green boxes are activities, assignments that you have to do. They're not very lengthy, but they are impactful. They help you to connect to the concepts and information that you have read, okay? I actually did a summary of human development document as a resource that kind of highlight the concepts that you're going to be reading, okay? Now, there should be an intro video. With every single chapter, there is an introduction video of that particular chapter. Now, remember, when you open it and you see this blank screen, you have to go to the box above. And you will be taken to the Achieve resources. And you can see here, this is what Chapter 1 is about. Is there audio for it? Because we can't hear it. Oh, you can't hear it? No, ma'am. Okay, you still can't hear it now? I still can't hear it. Okay. No, me neither. All right. So, what I will do when you actually go into the module, you should be, you will be able to hear it. Again, there's kind of a disconnect loop between the Zoom and the Canvas. But believe me, when you open this up, you will be able to hear it. But what I just wanted to demonstrate for you is in every module, there is a PowerPoint slide. There is going to be an introduction video. As you can see, all of this module one through module 20 is related to chapter one, okay? So you need to make sure by this week, you're gonna be reading chapter one, doing the exercises in chapter one, and then you'll read chapter two. Again, you see there's slides and there's an intro video, okay? So the other thing that you need to remember is when you're clicking these, like learning curve, for example, each learning curve, okay, remember to go to the inner box, okay, it tells you how many points and it tells you how to get started, you know, with learning curve, right? But it's what's required is you want to earn 300 points. Now, you'll find that as you open this up here, understanding how and why, okay, understanding how and why, and the scientific method, there's going to be activities and questions. It's very quick to get to the 300 points, and some of you will end up going to 400, 500. That's okay, but if you reach the target of 300 points, you will get the full points that is rated within Canvas, okay? So the learning curves are for every single chapter. They summarize what you read, what you saw, and then it helps you to prepare for your practice quiz, okay? So as I said, all the green boxes are assignments that are required for you to do. They are due by Sunday midnight. So when you follow along, the following week, you will be looking at chapter three and chapter four, okay? Same pattern. You have the slides, you have the video, you have resources, 
and you're going to be doing um, activities that help you to fully understand the concepts. And what I'm going to do is by Wednesday, I will let you know of additional Zoom meeting dates that you have an opportunity to join because we're going to be doing some micro lectures for the different chapters and talking a little bit more about developing lives, uh, the child observation, and how you can complete those successfully. Now, what I wanted to show you was a discussion board, okay? So, and what you need to do. Let's take a look at the first discussion board, right? So in chapter two, there's your first discussion board for this week. Remember what I said that you need to do it in two parts. So this is tied to chapter two theories. What would you do and which theory do you approach? You would read the questions. Those are the guided questions that you have to answer. Okay, and remember that you watch the video and after watching the video, then after viewing how Linda responds to Mateo, do you agree with her approach? If you agree, explain why you think approach is effective. What approach would you take? Which theorist would, would agree with your approach? So you're going to be learning about um, psychoanalytic theory, behaviorism theory, cognitive theory, and you want to see which one you think would be best to redirect or to change Mateo's sort of defiant behavior, okay? And remember, you want to click subscribe down here when you're ready to answer your questions, and then by Thursday, be done with this so that other people can read your response, just like you'll be able to read other people's responses and choose two people, okay, and reply to them as to why you agree or disagree and, and give a reason why. So that is a discussion board, okay? And so discussion boards are in every weekly Every week, there's at least one discussion board. And to do or to earn 15 points, you have to respond and reply to two people. Okay. So um, at this point, are there any questions that anybody has, you know, particularly that might be, you know, a burning question right now? Or if you think of it later, please feel free to send me, you know, a message through Canvas here. And again, by Wednesday, please take a look at us announcements because I will always, every Wednesday, send you some sort of announcement. Saturday, you're going to get a computer-generated announcement to remind you about your assignments. And by the way, everything that you do, you know, save for me to share, um, there's no grade in here yet. All of your names are in here. Every single module that is assigned is in here. So every point that you earn will be in these particular modules, okay, as you can see. So be careful that sometimes when you're looking at a um, particular grade and it says percentage of grade, don't think that that is the percentage in your final grade. It's the percentage of the number of assignments that you've completed that are required to do. So please don't hesitate. If you ever need to reach out to me, go ahead and send me a message. You can email me. I promise my my. What is really important to me is that you're, you know, confident that you're sticking to what it was required for you to do. And if you need my assistance, just reach out, okay? Also, um, remember that there is a Zoom room that I've opened up 
for you to join in and chat with other peers so that if you need to help each other, if you need to chat, that's another good way of reaching out. You know, distance learning does not need to be social emotional distance. So please just remember that. Okay. All right. So if there's no questions. I have a question. Is, Binya, is that how I pronounce your name? Binya, that's my last name. My first name is Sophia. Oh, Sophia. Okay. Okay, Sophia. Yes. What is your question? I was just wondering if all the stuff you're showing us with developing lives, is that going to be in the modules or is it something yes. else? It's the developing lives. It, once you register your book, you'll have access to that in, in that Achieve in Canvas. So you'll see in, in different modules, it'll say developing lives. Okay. But tonight I'm opening up that for you so that you have the whole entire semester to finish it. But remember, you have to do it in a sequence. Okay. Yes, it will be available to you. And um, our next Zoom, I'm going to be going over developing lives and how you actually create your avatar introduction, you know, and, and some unique features about your developing life and talking a little bit more about the child observation paper. Okay. All right. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Um, I hope you have a very successful. Um, I have a quick question. Semester. I'm sorry, Professor. Uh, yeah, I have two, two small children, five and seven. Uh, Can I use them to? <laughs> uh, you know what? It sounds great, but here's the thing. You know, when we observe our own children, what do you think? Perfecto. Just like me, right? We already know too much information about them. So if you work in a school, if I you, work you know, in a school. Okay. You can uh, choose those. You can choose one of those kids to observe. Okay. Okay. And answer the questions. No problem there because they're not living with you. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions, anyone? Okay. All right. Well, everyone, you know, kudos for joining at a late time and our zoom meeting will be earlier in the future and again i look forward to you know working through this with you through the semester it's going to be fast 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 and you know i'm here i'm here for you just reach out and communicate okay Have okay a great thank start you start of the fall semester be successful stay strong okay thank good night you. everyone good night bye-bye bye. 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 thank bye. you thank yes. you Thank You're you. Welcome. Bye. Thank you.